Welcome to our new video. We have been using and promoting Linux for quite a long time now. We have also used some of the proprietary operating systems from time to time for testing and comparison purposes. But in general, we consider ourselves proud Linux users. However, although we do promote Linux as a free and open source operating system, we must admit that it still has issues that annoy users a lot, particularly those not so experienced. This is our main gripe when it comes to Linux. Stay tuned. Our main desktop machine is the place where we produce the majority of our YouTube videos. As we have published in one of our recent short videos, we have decided to give it a glow up a bit so we bought several pieces of equipment that would enable us to make our main PC wireless. At least when it comes to the Wi-Fi connection, keyboard, mouse and speakers. And here's the issue. In short, the equipment simply doesn't work well in Linux. To be honest with you, it doesn't work perfectly in Windows either, but it works more or less. However, in Linux, it's a painful experience, to put it mildly. So, in Windows, after all the gadgets are plugged in, and when the machine is fired up, everything more or less works as it's expected. The system immediately recognizes the wireless keyboard, mouse and Wi-Fi dongle. Bluetooth mode. From time to time, it happens that the computer cannot connect to the Bluetooth speaker. In that case, we usually have to plug out the Bluetooth dongle and then plug it in again. Note. Restarting the speaker usually connects it to the computer. And that's it. However, when we swap the drives and start up the Linux machine, then the problems appear. Most of the time the keyboard and mouse work from the get-go, but the Wi-Fi network is unavailable. And in that case, we have to plug out and plug in again the dongle while the computer is turned on. And then it automatically connects to the Internet. But in the case of the Bluetooth outdoor speaker, we can comfortably say that it doesn't work at all. In Linux Mint, which has been our daily driver for the last several months, the Bluetooth application usually won't start at all. Taking it out and putting it back in doesn't help. The driver manager application shows that no additional drivers are available or necessary. Whatever. Some of the online tutorials are such that we could only imagine what an average user would think after having seen those lines of hieroglyphics in the terminal. We even tried upgrading the Linux kernel to the latest one as of the time of recording the video.
in that case, everything works as it should for about half an hour. After that, the whole system freezes or the keyboard and mouse stop working. And sometimes, while everything works, the mouse stutters a lot and gets frozen for several seconds. So, we've got rid ourselves of so many cables. And our PC is now easier to handle and to clean. However, we've got a problem in our everyday work. For instance, if we plug in earphones or loudspeakers, everything goes back to normal. But then, can we use a wireless setup or not? We even tried changing the Linux distributions, including some among Arch-based and Debian itself, but to no avail. What's your opinion on the issue? Did we make something wrong? Do you have a suggestion for us? Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like, share it with others and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!